breaking tonight at the Capitol. Senate lawmakers passed a deal that would fully fund tops in the fall semester. It still has a couple more hurdles to clear first, so let's get straight on to Capitol correspondent Mark Armstrong live at the Capitol. Mark, this seems to be a substantial development, so what has to happen now? Yes, Michael, at this point, the budget now goes over to the House of Representatives. I'm standing right outside the doors right now. They have until midnight, of course, to con concur with this uh, budget proposal, and it does fully fund TOPS just in the fall semester. In the spring, if they don't find any more money for TOPS, it's still going to cost an LSU student on an average of $2,100. So instead of spreading that out throughout the entire year, they're going just to get that all in the fall time. The idea is maybe somehow some more money will pop up um, between now and December, and money can go to tops. Also, uh, what has happened with this budget is hospitals are fully funded. College campuses are fully funded. Uh, K through 12 schools taking a small hit, not as big of a hit as we told you about yesterday uh, when they were looking at cutting off teacher pay raises from the state. Now, when it comes to tops, a lot of debate on that. This was a big, uh, this was a big issue, a compromise uh, with the House of Representatives, apparently, for them to front load tops and have no cut to it going in the fall uh, semester. And what you're about to hear now are from two senators, one for it and one against it. And then the third person going to hear from is LSU President F. King Alexander, who says he does not think this is a good idea to do it this way. Take a listen. We have a chance with this amendment to say, look, if there's some extra dollars in there, let's give it, make that promise mean something. And that's all we're trying to do with this amendment. Because it's disingenuous, it's a false hope to the children that we made commitments to, and it doesn't give them any more money. So if you vote for the amendment, don't go home waving the flag that you voted green on the amendment like you fully funded their tuition, because you didn't. Well, that, that worries me because uh, I know mid-year you get to, you get in a situation where students can't apply for financial aid. So I hope they I hope they're very confident that they can find the resources to fund tops in the fall because we really don't want our students worried about the second semester and whether they can come back second semester. All right, the ball is now in the hands of the House of Representatives. They have less than two hours to pass this budget. Michael? All right, Mark Armstrong.